All right, everybody, we're out here in San Bernardino. We're on Third Avenue, and I believe it's Sierra. Yeah, Sierra Way. This is downtown San Bernardino. I just came from the courthouse at jury duty. Of course, they let you out of there immediately when you tell them you, uh, you have an infant. So I thought I would come over here show you guys a little bit of history uh, that deals with San Bernardino itself. Pretty interesting. So let's go check it out. A guy like playing golf. A bunch of homeless camps. This is quite the homeless camp park here. So. pretty sketchy down here so if you're scared of homeless people and such then I don't recommend coming to see this but uh if you don't care I mean I suspect for the most part they'll leave you alone it's really the dogs and stuff down here there's a lot of homeless dogs but uh pit bull right over here running around and such like that but so anyway all right let's uh let's get to it let me show you what what was what you'll see. Alright guys, so here we are. We are at the location. We're at a park and we are in downtown San Bernardino. What we are here for is to show you Chinatown. That's right, I am standing literally right on top of where a bunch of homes or shacks at the time. Um, Chinatown shacks used to line 3rd Street right here. So there's the old courthouse right here, and then the new courthouse there, and then, you know, all the San Bernardino County buildings. But right here at Sierra Way and 3rd Street in San Bernardino, there used to be a series of shacks right along here. And they ran all the way down to, to uh, Sierra Way, and even a little bit further. But right through here, there used to be uh, a bunch of shacks that were part of Chinatown. And back then, the way this got started, the way Chinatown formed, was in the early 1800s, so 1830s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, the Chinese were told and imported in China to come here for labor, that it was very prosperous and you can make a lot of money and, you know, there's a lot of work. So they came, and because a lot of people in China back then were starving, and so they they came here to San Bernardino area in California in the Old West to be part of the gold rush. And what happened was when they got here in many of the areas, including San Bernardino, Riverside, and some other areas, they each had their own little Chinatown because once they got here, basically they were told that you can't work. Like the whites, pioneers, settlers, miners, and such, they're the only ones that were allowed to do that type of work. Now, in, in some cases, they were. Uh, they ran out of labor and stuff, and they had to use Chinese labor, particularly with the railroad. The railroad was a huge factor in Chinese labor, and, and eventually they, they were allowed into the mining industry when there was some bigger booms. Uh, but locally, to the north here, you have Holcomb Valley, and Holcomb Valley was a huge gold rush, and there were a lot of Chinese there. And... Uh, Basically, they were part of that uh, group of people, of the Chinese group, that were not allowed to work. So they came here. They came here down to San Bernardino, and the same thing happened here. They weren't allowed to do much here, so they formed their own city. They pushed out of the main town, which was a little bit that way, and they moved over this way. And San Bernardino back then wasn't very big. I'm talking like less than a mile square uh, it wasn't a big place, but back then it was a big town. I mean, 1860s around here was pretty rural. I mean, you, you had to go pretty far to find anything else, but... So, here you go. This is Chinatown. We're standing right in the middle of it. So that's pretty cool. If you ever want to come down here and just kind of look around, I suggest uh, bring a little pepper spray with you. Not really for the people, per se. I think most of them know to mind their own business so they don't get in trouble. But uh, I would say for the dogs, there's a lot of stray dogs in this park. 
and uh, I just had a homeless lady come over here and wrangle like 15 dogs and you can probably see them they're all down that way playing around now they're all mostly small dogs but they have some other dogs around here and they could be protective of those of the homeless so be careful uh, it's not the cleanest place I'm sure they come through here and do some cleaning what I do find interesting is there is a lot like a really good flow of water right there it's steaming it seems to be hot and it flows out of here I wonder if that's part of the hot springs local hot springs I'll have to look that up and include it because I know there's some hot springs locally uh, about two or three of them uh, that flew or flowed underground and uh, popped up at various places so pretty neat guys if you ever uh, have the time definitely look it up I will include uh, some details of what was here and such in the in the description below so read through that and do your own research it's it's a really neat history of San Bernardino that isn't talked about much um, also you should know that right in this area they excavated and that's part of why there's a ditch here uh, they right through here and then right over there they excavated and uh, they found one of the old privies um, from one of the old gambling halls here and they found 1300 Chinese coins 1300 that's a lot of coins and they, they said it was the largest hoard of Chinese coins ever found in the United States it was found right in this area here so that's pretty pretty cool so somewhere under all this there are privies and and trash dumps and all that so if you're into metal detecting come on down and give it a shot I certainly will at some point I don't know if I'll have time um, in the next couple weeks but one day soon I will definitely come by here and give it a whirl see what's around here especially in these areas like this where it's been eroded away and time has changed but you just have to worry you know like I said there's people down here and bug you and uh, the homeless just as long as you mind your own business they'll probably leave you alone but there are some that just don't want you here anyway so anyway so yeah Chinatown guys if you're in the area come and check it out they have it marked here that's the sign that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video right there you can see it so check that out and then um, read up on it come down and check it out I mean it was literally right through here so between the light down there Mount Vernon and down here this was uh, all Chinatown it was just about a two or so block spot it wasn't a very big area and uh, but they packed it in here and they lived here from 1860s all the way till probably early 1900s and then I guess what happened is in the 20s around the 1920s it says that a lot of it burned down and um, people used the rest just kind of took whatever was left and then the county bought obviously they bought everything around here so if you look around you'll see that the county just bought everything and uh, took up what was left I think they were kind of required to leave some of it luckily it was the part where the Chinese town was but as you see they um this side of the highway they pretty much dug everything up so so somewhere under here is quite a lot of stuff a lot of artifacts and such so anyway I hope you enjoyed the the information I just thought while I was down here in jury duty and got out of got excused early I would uh, show you some of this and uh, see what's going on it's a pretty neat park it looks like they had a plaque here that was probably a brass plaque dedicated to the Chinatown I'm betting and uh, that's long gone but yeah lots of homeless here lots of homeless and this is just a very very small amount of homeless that are in the area there are thousands more in uh, nearby areas but pretty neat neat looking stairwell that's an old stairwell right there but uh, definitely come see it, learn about the history, come check out nature while you're here. Don't get bitten by the homeless dogs and, and uh, stay away from the crackies that are around. 
There was a guy, I don't know if you saw him earlier. Okay, yeah, there he is. He's over there under that tree. He's uh, he's out here golfing, homeless guy. He's out here golfing, hitting balls back and forth. I guess if you're gonna be homeless, that's, that's better than just laying around. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I gotta go do a couple things. I'm gonna go head back home and do some more chores. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Should notate with the video since it goes. Right here at 3rd and Waterman, there used to be uh, China Gardens right here, the corner. This is the only place they could grow anything. This is where they were allowed to grow fruits and such. Pretty cool. China Gardens. So as you see, there's pit bulls running around out there. I don't know if you want to go see that or do any metal detecting, but you can see the old water tanks right there, the wells. It's pretty neat. Yeah, but that was where it was, right there in the field. Amazingly, with all this development, that field is still there. So, pretty cool. Alright guys, we're headed out.